Hello everyone, today I'll be sharing with you my Bible plan for the 11th of May. So the, or rather Bible plans. So the first Bible plan is titled, There is always more. And he said, Please show me your glory. Exodus chapter 33 verse 18. God can use you and lead you on a path of success. But all of that doesn't compare to knowing Him intimately. There is always something new to discover about God. He desires you continuously, or He desires you to continuously gain a perspective of who you are in light of who He is. Your pursuit can continue every day. That is a surrendered life, knowing that there is always more to learn. After God assured Moses that his presence would be with him and the children of Israel, Moses still wasn't satisfied. It wasn't enough for God to just lead him to success, bracket into the promised land. He wanted more from God, although he already had many divine encounters. Paul was the same. Despite his status and everything he accomplished, he considered it all rubbish compared to knowing God more intimately. So the prayer for this plan is, ask God for the grace to pursue Him and remain curious. I feel like personally, I tend to forget that there's so much more to learn and so much more to know. And so, I often just end up pushing God away because I think I know a lot already. And so this Bible plan is a reminder that there's a lot to learn every day and there will always be a lot to learn about God because He is our Creator. And not just that, but there is genuinely a lot to learn. So yeah. Okay, next Bible plan. It's titled, How Free is Free? There's all the difference in the world between working to gain someone's acceptance and working because of someone's acceptance. People tend to be compelled to serve God in order to merit His love and acceptance. When this system of performance-based acceptance is transferred to our Heavenly Father, the result is legalism. Legalism is an attitude. It's a system of thinking in which an individual attempts to gain God's love and acceptance through good works or service. Legalism always leads to the same dead end, a lack of joy, a critical spirit, and an inability to be transparent. Freedom from legalism comes through accepting the truth about our favoured position in God's family. Those who have put their trust in Christ have been adopted into his family. There is no concept which speaks, of, which speaks any clearer of acceptance than adoption. While pregnancy can come as a surprise, adoption is always something pre-mediated and planned. While you and I were still without hope, God set the stage to adopt us into his family. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 Do you feel you must work in order to gain God's acceptance? Do you find yourself being critical of those who don't serve the Lord with the same fervor as you? Have you developed a, mate, a martyr's, martyr's, martyr's attitude towards your service for the Lord? If yes, you're not resting in the finished work for Christ. Of Christ, I think, for Christ. A work that settled the question of your acceptability once and for all. Through Christ, God provided you with an eternal place in the family of God and allows you to call Him your Father. So I think uh, what this plan is trying to tell me is I have nothing to prove to God and I don't really have to go out of my way to 
gain his favor because he loves me for who I am, you know, and he loves us for who we are. And we don't have to do additional good acts or whatnot to please him, you know. Mm. Yeah. I think through this plan, he's just calling me to allow allow him to journal or rather journey with me in my life yeah hey thanks for watching peace